without a doubt, we live in difficult times. And it's in times like this that we need inspiration. We need God to speak to us and reaffirm the purpose of life, humanity, the purpose of our very life. Why are we alive now and why should we get out of bed today? In the Old Testament book of Ecclesiastes, written by King Solomon, the preacher, the son of David, gives us the meaning of life. Let's delve into it together. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, the last chapter, verses 9 through 12, says this. In addition to being a wise man, the preacher also taught the people knowledge, and he pondered, searched out, and arranged many proverbs. The preacher sought to find delightful words and to write words of truth correctly. The words of wise men are like goads, and masters of these collections are like well-worn, well-driven nails. They are given by one shepherd. But beyond this, my son, be warned, the writing of many books is endless. An excessive devotion to books is wearying to the body. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verses 9 through 12. Here we come back again to the outline of Ecclesiastes, which is three circles, revisiting four major topics. And so verse uh, chapter 12 is part of the third circle. He revisits the idea of wisdom. Having established the vanity of wisdom in the previous circles, the preacher defines his goals, defines wise words, and then warns about the toil, the work and the labor, all in Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verses 9 through 12. The author of Ecclesiastes is reliable by his own witness. Chapter 12, verses 9 through 10, defines the author and the author's goals with five actions. Taught, pondered, searched, arranged, sought. Five actions. The preacher's overall goals were, quote, to find delightful words and to write words of truth correctly, end quote. That's chapter 12, verse 10. For me, for me, Ecclesiastes as God's inspired word is words of truth. But I do not find the content and message as delightful. It seems more dark than delightful, but that's that's just me, personal opinion. The preacher endorses wisdom and specifically the collected wisdom on Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 11 describes wise words by simile. Wise words are like goads and well-driven nails. But according to George Barton, according to the goads reference, goads refer to their prickliness and the ability to, quote, stimulate to activity, end quote. And the nails reference refers to the image of writing words nailed in a row. This comes from uh, George Barton's book. Uh, page 197, I've re referenced and referred to his book in previous episodes on Ecclesiastes. Stimulate to activity. That's what the goads reference. Prickliness and ability. What does stimulate to activity mean? Wise words should become the basis of our conduct. 
Written wisdom should guide our choices and lifestyles like precious advice. I think that's what stimulate to activity means. Too often, too often, we believe great truths about God, humanity, and life, but it never reaches the way we live. Uh, let's live out in our thoughts, words, and actions, the truths of scripture. Let's put it to action. Let's be doers, not just readers and thinkers. Verse 12 cracks me up. Should verse 12 be the new motto for all academics, schools, and universities? Probably not, but it sure refers to me personally with my thousands of poems and my dozen novels. Y yep, toil. I feel it. Ecclesiastes chapter 12, verse 12, returns to the preacher father who's warning his son in a like teacher to pupil relationship about the toil of writing and devotion. Maybe this statement refers to the preacher's search under the sun and his writings as being exhaustive and therefore no further effort is required. Maybe, well, maybe. But I think it refers to outside material, more evidence, more books, more experiments. Although it certainly is not a rejection of studying or intellectual activity. This probably does not refer, does not refer to scripture, God's written word, or general education. But probably more points toward the blasphemous heathen books and libraries, you know, secular books and writings, anti-Christian books for us today. Again, the, the application of truth is important. Let's do it. Let's be it. Let's live this truth. This topic is incredibly important. And and we need time to think about the purpose of our individual lives. Why do I exist? And how can I make the most of the time that God has given me? If you're interested in delving into Ecclesiastes um, deeper, then I wrote a book in 2018 it's 50 pages. It's a dollar 98 on Amazon. It's for a Kindle, an e-reader, and it's called Search for Significance: An Examination of Ecclesiastes. And I will put the link to this book on Amazon in the description below as an additional resource for you if you wish.